But first, technology has its plus points, like most things, but it also has a dark side. Until a few weeks ago, Muammar Gaddafi's team was working overtime trying to keep tabs on the enemies of that regime. And a surveillance room has now been uncovered in Tripoli, and it's revealed quite an Aladdin's cave of Western-made technology. Well, to help us shed light on this, I'm joined by our resident tech editor, Eric. All right, it looks like the humble computer mouse has come quite a long way since its first incarnations back in the 1950s. Now, 1983, Apple came out with the, the first big commercial mouse with its uh, Lisa system. Now, in 2011... Something completely different in your hands. Well, there. a key study of the world's 100 top brands has Apple down as the leader of the pack. Based on the perceptions of some 2 million consumers across the world, the iPhone and iPad makers brand alone is said to be worth now $153 billion. That's another milestone for the company. Last year, they overtook Microsoft being the most valuable tech company in the world. Let's look at the other. Let's have a look. The FTSE up uh, nearly 1% there. The Cacahuantes here in Paris up one and a third of a percent. The DAX up just over 1.5%. Why the strong showing? Well, it's a big boost from across the Atlantic that's brought those figures about. 244,000 new jobs were added to the world's number one economy during the course of April, much better than anyone had expected. The private sector going full steam ahead with new hires. Those are the best figures seen since May 2009. And President Obama. She's been outlining her priorities for that five-year term at the helm of the IMF. She said also, very interestingly, that the global recovery, she believes, is well underway, although it's somewhat, she said, imbalanced. Well, speaking exclusively to France 24, Lagarde also spoke about that debt downgrade for Portugal, expressing her concerns. And she says, let's give Portugal a little time. The Dubai-based carrier's annual net profits for the year ending the 31st of March up a staggering 52%. Uh, the Emirates CEO said it's been a full year of growth and expansion for the airline. Total profits for the group, including subsidiaries, standing at about $1.6 billion. So not a bad showing for them. Pretty good. Well, and, uh, that just about brings to an end this edition of Tech24. Thank you very much for watching. You can keep in touch with us. Details appearing there on your screens.